let's see what we find in here. There's a pre-war book front and center for us to grab. Oh, and radioactivity. Oh. So is that the commanding officer? <laughs> oh, a whole bunch of green dishes. We found a whole set of red dishes. Now we have green dishes. And a Nuka-Cola Quantum. Oh, and a couple of Nuka Colas in here. Oh, another pre war book. Cherry bombs, vodka. Uh, sure, I'll take the chessboard. What's this? Oh, guns and bullets right in the middle of the bed. Oh, it says owned. Queen size bed. It's in red. Oh, there's a lot of blood. Oh, because somebody died here. Okay. More vodka and cram. Oh, this goes out to the capital wasteland. Alright, so I guess this, this house has a back door. I don't know why we would need to come in the back door. But I guess it's just another option. All right. Something troubling you, my friend. Hey, do you think we should move to the Commonwealth? Yes, by all means. Let's. <laughs> all right, let's see what's down in the basement. should be mindful. Yeah, I'm being mindful. Oh, and there's the bobblehead. Who is this? Just a wastelander, huh? A stealth boy, a Chinese army spec ops training manual, a bunch of pre-war money. And bottle caps. Fort Constantine launch codes. Okay, I'll take that. Be aware of our All right, this is it. This is the last bobblehead I need. You found a Vault Tech Limited Edition bobblehead. The inscription on the base reads, The best way to win an argument is to be the loudest. Your big gun skill has been permanently increased by 10 points. Now my big gun skill was already 100, and that's my bad. I should have taken it up to 90 and then waited until I found this bobblehead. But, oh well. Too late now. I'm here, at your back. Ooh. Pick Fort Constantine bunker door. Locked use key. It's in red. OK. 
Okay. I think we have the key. We had to get three keys. We were supposed to take them to Mr. Crawley, but we didn't. Maybe this is where we can use one of those keys. Unlocked with Ted Strayer's special key. Okay. Oh. Open door to launch control bunker. We have three keys, so we're going to be using at least two more here at some point. That one's all boarded up. Activate Fort Constantine launch control. Uh, do I want to do that? Duck and cover. Alright, I'll take that. Let's continue looking around. Alright, continues going down. Wow, this place just goes on and on, doesn't it? Big book of science. Alright, well before we go down or do anything with this computer, let's see what's back here. Locked average terminal, okay. All right, let's see what's in here. Bunch of empty metal boxes. Wonder glue. Well, this place is just a whole bunch of wonder glue, doesn't it? down here. And here we have dinner plates. We had red plates, green plates. Now we have dinner plates.
Ooh, ramen steak. It's what's for dinner. Oh, somebody died here. Oh, with a pistol in his hand. Maybe he shot himself. Or herself. Themselves. <gasps> Another pre-war book. <gasps> Stealth boy. This is very much like a Minuteman <laughs> barracks that I would make in Fallout 4. With the bunk beds and the foot lockers and whatnot. Open door to bomb storage. Locked use key. Well, we were in a place called bomb storage earlier. Does this lead back into that? There was one door we couldn't unlock there. We must walk softly. I know, I tried to use the key in that door and nothing worked. So I guess I didn't have the right key for that. This is probably not the same door, because, you know, the other door I couldn't use a key on. But maybe this... Oh, unlocked with Dukov's key, it said there for a second in the corner. Maybe this is going to take us back to that bomb storage facility and we'll come out through that door that I couldn't unlock. I hope we find the key. Maybe this is where we find the key. Alright, so we've used two of three keys. Let's see what we find in here. Do you hear any robots, Fox? Our steps must be met. Oh shit. <laughs> Famous last words. Do you hear any robots? Oh god, there's all kinds of terminals and things going on in here. Alright, where does this go? I know we're not done searching. Alright, this goes back up. Okay, so this might go up and out. Into the bomb storage area that we visited before. Oh, cigarettes. Yeah, I think I will. Thank you. Don't need the paint guns. Oh, we didn't use the, uh, the launch computer though. I guess we should go back up and try that. Oh! Who's this? Tara! She looks like a raider, but she has a name. Warhead Storage Key. Oh, I think that was one of the people who went in with Dukov and Strayer. And David, she was part of the team that was sent in. And, and Crowley. Aww. She must have died here. Open door, lock to use key. Okay, well, I'll get to that. I'll get to that. But I want to look around a little bit first. We have a couple of terminals over here. Okay, broadcasting has two of the same letters as construction. But does it have two of the same letters as quarter staff? It does. Ah, that was it. Uh, disengage lock, okay. So it's to unlock this door. I'm concerned about this area. Alright, well you stand guard here, Fox. 
Oh, a bunch of guns. They're not worth much. Fry grenades. A pulse grenade. I bet if I pick all these up and mash them together and make one good weapon out of all of them. Excuse me. Oh, another guns and bullets. Careful. All right, let's see what's in the other one. Ah, oh, we got it. That was tough. Better be something good in here. Oh my gosh, there's a whole bunch of ammo boxes. Heck yeah. Should we go up and try the launch codes? I want to go look at the launch computer. Here, alright, let's check this out. Launch ICBM. Well, we do have the launch codes. Um, okay, normally I wouldn't mess around with this because we could just end up blowing ourselves up. <laughs> I mean... Honestly, we don't know where it's going to go, what it's going to do. We don't know if it's still actually working. I, I'm going to do it, but then I'm going to reload and and not do it. I think, I think Charity would not do this, but I'm curious what will happen in the game if we do. launch error it says all right maybe it didn't launch at all okay well now that we've gotten that out of the way let's see what's behind this door here behind Tara unlock with Dave's special key oh, okay so that wasn't the key she had Oh my gosh, what's in here? Ooh, a fat man. DC Journal of Internal Medicine. Some mini nukes, okay, cool. <gasps> what's this? Activate armor R&D terminal. Careful. What in the world? Some kind of power armor. Alright, uh, nothing else on this side. Let's see what this does. Disable stasis field. Take T-51B power armor. Value 999. Is that the highest value item in the game? Wait, 40. Oh my gosh. Oh, and the 
power helmet. Quest completed. You gotta shoot him in the head. Oh. So what, Crowley wanted this power armor? Well, now that I've taken it, he's not gonna get it. Alright, I guess that's it then. Huh. Alright, let's take a look at this power armor. Alright, rad resistance and charisma. What happens if I wear it? Yep, that's power it's armor. That people trust you enough not to attack me. All right, I think I'll just wear this armor for now. Rest in peace, lady. Thank you for the key. Let's see where this goes. Ah, here we go. Maybe this will take us out into the bomb storage area. I couldn't get through that door before. Maybe she's the one that had the key to get through this door. Ah, yep. And now we're back here. Well, where the heck's the room full of ghouls? Part of the story was that Crawley had gotten locked in a room full of ghouls and left behind by his crew. And he was mad at him and wanted to get even. I didn't see a room full of ghouls. Did you, Fox? I mean, we saw one ghoul when we came in, but that was it. When we first went into Fort Constantine, there was like one ghoul in there. I don't know. I'm starting to think that Crowley was telling tall tales. Alright, we need to finish our bobblehead collection. Big Guns bobblehead. And now we have them all. That's probably some kind of trophy. <laughs> some kind of achievement. 